Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we have one of the most important videos here on the channel. We're gonna talk about the easiest countries to immigrate to Europe, currently in my opinion. And in this video we're going to cover all different categories. So whether you want to retire in Europe or if you want to find a job, if you want to start a business or if you want to buy property in Europe, this video is for you. And before we start the usual talk, you already know it. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, the link is in the description. And most importantly, subscribe. Let's start. And guess with which country we're going to start today's list. It is again Portugal. Once again, Portugal made it to one of our videos. And this time as one of the easiest countries to immigrate to Europe. As you probably already know, Portugal is in the European Union in the Schengen area and also in the Eurozone. Needless to say, it is a highly stable and desirable country. There are really many ways to get a residence permit in Portugal, which is, in my opinion, currently the easiest country to immigrate to Europe considering only those which are part of the European Union. One of the most popular ways to immigrate to Portugal is the D7 visa, which allows you to live in Portugal if you show you have a passive income. The income requirement you need to show is one of the lowest compared to other countries offering a similar residence permit. The D7 is a great idea if you work remotely or if you are a retiree. It is also possible to get a residence permit to live in Portugal as a self-employed person or if you want to start a company. The financial requirements are lower than compared to all other countries in Western Europe. Also, if you come from a visa-exempt country for a short stay in Portugal and during this stay you accidentally find a job, you can change your status from a tourist or a visitor to an employed person with a contract, thus allowing you to get a residence permit in the country. Apart from all of this, Portugal is one of the best overall countries to live in Europe. It offers a great quality of life, which includes a high level of safety, awesome weather for European standards and a relatively low cost of living, if you wander away from the capital Lisbon. The next country is Estonia. If you want to live in Northern Europe, Estonia is probably the easiest choice to immigrate to this part of the continent. That applies not only to those who are residing outside Europe, but also for residents and citizens of other European countries. This Baltic country is probably one of the best options in Europe if you want to create a startup. The bureaucracy is lower than the average for European standards and a good number of public services can be done online. The country has residence permit offers for both self-employed persons as well as for those aiming to start a business with employees. The financial requirements can be a bit higher than other countries in the list, but on the other hand, the amount of bureaucracy to run a business is lower in Estonia, as I said. This is a trade-off you have to analyze to determine whether it makes sense in your own individual situation. Estonia is also probably the best option if you are a job seeker and want to immigrate to Europe. There are many jobs for foreigners, mostly related to IT, and many companies are willing to sponsor your visa if you are qualified for the job. Many of these companies have an English-speaking office environment, so it is relatively easy to get a job even if you don't speak Estonian. On top of that, Estonia was one of the first countries in Europe to launch a digital nomad visa. So if you want to stay in Estonia for a while to better understand the country before starting a business there, the digital nomad visa can be a great option. The next country is Albania. Albania is another country often featured here on the channel as one of the best up-and-coming destinations to live in Europe. The country has a great climate, a good geographical location and a low cost of living. Recently, Albania's immigration law went through an overhauling process, and the result of this is that Albania became a much easier country to move to. There are three easy ways to get a residence permit in Albania currently. The first option is by starting a company in Albania. Taxes in Albania are moderate, and you will not need to hire any locals to get a residence permit. So it can be a good option if you don't need staff, let's say if you're an IT consultant or a designer, for example. But if you want to open a restaurant serving sushi and coffee, and you will need a lot of staff for this, you can also get a residence permit in Albania relatively easily. The law, which has been recently approved, also allows you to get a residence permit in Albania if you buy property in the country. Albania has some of the most interesting property prices when compared to other countries in the Balkans. Beach properties in Albania are somewhat cheaper than in Montenegro and much cheaper than in Croatia. Albania also approved residence permits for digital nomads and retirees, so the country really has a huge amount of residence permit categories. One or more of them are very likely to suit your needs. Apart from all of this, if you are a US citizen, you get to stay up to one year without having to get a residence permit in the country. While most other nationalities, which are visa-exempt, to visit Albania just get 90 days every 180 days. 
So citizens of the EU, the UK, Australia, 90 days in every 180 days in Albania. After that, if you want to stay longer, then you have to get a residence permit. The next country is Georgia. Georgia is another extremely popular country for how easy it is to immigrate to the country. The country is also quite popular for its low taxes and ease of doing business. Right from the start, Georgia is one of the most flexible countries in the world in terms of entry regulations. Citizens of most Western countries, as well as many countries in Asia, can enter Georgia and stay up to one year visa-free. That's it! You can stay a whole year in Georgia without having to deal with any bureaucracy. If you want to get a residence permit in Georgia, however, I have great news for you! Georgia is pretty flexible and there are a number of residence permits for various categories of business people and investors. It is pretty easy to get a residence permit in Georgia if you are working remotely or if you want to start a business with physical presence in the country. There is also the possibility of getting a residence permit in Georgia by buying real estate in the country. Currently, you need to spend more than 100,000 US dollars in real estate in Georgia to qualify for the real estate residence permit. This type of permit is an excellent choice if you just want to spend a few months per year in the country, as you can keep renewing it and building your way towards permanent residency in Georgia. The advantage of this permit is that the time requirement to stay in the country in order to renew the permit is very low. Apart from the residence permits, Georgia is a pretty good option if you work online and want to pay extremely low taxes. If you meet some specific criteria, which are not very difficult to meet actually, you will be able to pay just 1% income tax in the country up to a certain level of income per year. Definitely a great choice for freelancers and digital nomads. Now we are back to the European Union for the next country, which is Malta. Malta is one of the most privileged island nations in the world right on the Mediterranean and enjoying one of the best economic conditions when compared to other island nations around the world. Malta has one of the best programs in Europe for digital nomads. If you are a digital nomad and you have your company already established abroad, you can live in Malta without having to pay income tax in the country, as long as you prove you are paying taxes in your country of origin. This is especially a good option if you are a US citizen with an already established US company helping you to avoid paying taxes twice, in the US and in your new country. In Malta, you can keep paying your US taxes and you will not have to pay any income tax in Malta in this digital nomad program. Malta is also an excellent choice if you want to get a permanent residence permit in a country in the European Union. Spending as low as 120,000 euros, you can guarantee a permanent residence permit in Malta relatively fast, although you have to stay in the country for quite many months before you can actually get it. Once you become a permanent resident of Malta, your stay requirements in the country are minimal, although you will still have to show up from time to time in Malta. Now we come to the last country of today's list, and it's Serbia. Serbia is the last country in today's list, and also another one that oftentimes is featured here on the channel. In terms of South, Central and Eastern Europe, probably Serbia, all things considered, is one of the easiest countries to get a residence permit for independent travelers and investors. One of the easiest ways to get a residence permit in Serbia is by opening a company. The company must have real activities, so a dormant company will not get you a residence permit in Serbia. But there are many advantages, for example, you do not need to hire any local staff to get a residence permit, making this option a great one if you are a freelancer and work online, for example. There is another popular way to get a residence permit in Serbia, which is by buying real estate in the country. If you buy a residence for yourself in the country, you can get a residence permit to stay in Serbia. This option is not available to all citizens, as it only applies to citizens of countries where Serbian citizens can also buy a property. So, if a Serbian person is allowed to buy a property in your country of origin, you are also allowed to do it in Serbia, on a reciprocity basis. Then, after buying a property, you can get a residence permit to stay in the country. The disadvantage of Serbia is that average salaries in the country are low, so I would probably not recommend Serbia if you're looking for a high-paying job. But the advantages of the country and the various options to get a residence permit in Serbia make of it one of the easiest countries to immigrate to Europe. That's it for today's video. Write down in the comment section what you had for breakfast and also to which of these countries you like to immigrate to and why. And to end the video, the usual gibberish. If you want to travel, move or invest about, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me. The link is in the description. And most importantly, subscribe. <clears throat> See you next time.